All right. <coughs> oh my goodness, excuse me. Well, on that note, welcome back to some more Batman. Uh, last time we finished up episode three. Then we do episode four. We should have done episode three last week, but we had some issues. Got those resolved. So we're gonna do like a little catch up. Episode five will finish next week. Uh, and episode five will be our last episode. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, let's get into it. I would give you a repack, uh, a repack, a recap, but the game's gonna do that for you. So. <laughs> Previously on Batman, the Telltale series. Why did you do it? Harvey needed you. Why save me? Mm -hmm. I haven't actually seen it yet. They've had me wrapped up this whole time. <laughs> Numbed beyond belief. Maybe it's not that bad. Our stock is tanking. The board is losing confidence. Wayne Enterprises needs a new face. Oswald Cobblepot. Come work for me. It won't be what you have here, but at least we can keep pace on the new Bat Tech. I'll go and gather what I can from the lab. You're a good man, Bruce. This part was fun. Please, Selena. I have to tell you how I... Rose. Rose. You should... Come stay with me. Oh, won't you... Think about it. Stay with me. Cause you... Dropped your pen. Oh, That's not done. <laughs> oh, you bitch. It's time you knew my real name. I am Lady Arkham. This game series adapts to choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. You have to face the truth sometime. Retribution, Bruce. <laughs> Hey, I'm up. I'm up. Oh, can't even stand up. Christ's sake, put some clothes on. Doctor's making the round soon. Doctor? What doctor? Someone was angry. Lovely. Is that my blood? God, I hope it's mine. Uh, what if it's not? That's nasty. I'm a 
Asylum. This can't be happening. No choice. This can't be real. You settled? Good. Anything you need? Water, piss, rat poison? I'll take the rat poison. I've been asked for rope before. Not really allowed to give it out. I want to talk to my lawyers. You're not in any position to be making demands, rich boy. I have rights. And yours were revoked after you beat Oswald Cobblepot within an inch of his life and landed yourself in here. <laughs> You're not buying your way out this time. Oh. Might as well get comfortable. This is your home now. Time to meet your neighbors. Oh my god. As you were. You look just like him. Your father ever tell you about me? How he sent me here? Left me to rot in this goddamn hellhole? Somebody's gotta pay for that. I hope to God there is a hell. I am so sick of everyone blaming me for what my father did. I'm not him. Hurting me does nothing. Maybe not. But you're the next best thing, Wayne. Oh, sugar. Joker? Buddy. Oh, buddy. Are you okay? You don't look so grand. More like the opposite. What would that be? Poor, perhaps. Does it look like I'm okay? <laughs> Not one bit. What is going on in here? It's like I told you, Doctor. These creeps! We're attacking the new guy. Well, who did that? Was it you? Of course not. It was mostly over by the time I got in. Like, the new guy's tougher than he looks. Right, buddy? Bruce, is that really what happened? Go on, tell her. <clears throat> I don't really know what happened. This is all a blur. Seems like you could have experienced another psychotic episode. We'll need to keep an eye on that. All right. The orderly that was here before took money from these men and let them into my room. He gave them a taser. I knew that you coming to Arkham could cause some excitement, but I didn't expect it to happen so fast. I'll do my best to keep you safe, but I need you to be careful. <sighs> Us nice guys gotta stick together. Am I right? Come to me if anything happens. Safe. And how do you plan to do that? You're hardly the first patient in Arkham Asylum to be attacked. I'm sure we can figure something out. I'm Dr. Joan Leland, by the way, head of psychiatry. I'll be overseeing your case personally. We'll get you transferred to a new room, Bruce. One that doesn't have your... blood all over it. Huh? For now, follow me. I'm sorry, I don't think I ever got your name. Me? <laughs> <laughs> He's never given his name out to anybody. What? We just call him John Doe. Bingo. <laughs> John Doe it is then. Price of admission trophy. John is one of our most improved patients. He's been with us for quite some time. I'm sure he'd be willing to show you around. Right, Would John? you, John? Oh, yeah. 
I'll show him the whole nine yards. <laughs> gonna be my, my new best friend. I think friend. it would be best if you stayed by his side. There's, there's not enough black tiles, you hear me? There's too many white tiles! <laughs> That's good to hear. Your next evaluation is in a few weeks. I'm glad you're starting to understand yourself better. Oh, <laughs> every day, Doctor. Every day. I can't taste anything! I want to taste! That's crazy. You gotta be more careful, Bruce. So if you can't taste anything, you got to oh. Guardian friendly, thanks for the follow. -up. Follow you back there, friend. Appreciate it. Oh. Game's lagging a little bit. There we go. You remember the first time you let me into the rec room, Dr. Leland? <laughs> how could I forget? You had to teach me. Feel free to introduce yourself and shadow give you a shout out. Yes, well. <laughs> No, you, you need to let me go. I have to warn the president. You're trying to kill you me. You don't know the president. Ah! <laughs> they don't like it when you try to use the phone. That's because phones are for staff use only. No exceptions. <laughs> Stop that guy from trying. <laughs> Certainly did Such not. Persistence. Wrong number to this. Wrong. Sir, what are you doing? I'll come by to check on you two later. Don't worry about us, Dr. Leland. Good care of him. That doesn't scare me at all. Episode four. Welcome to Arkham Asylum. <laughs> Believe it or not, some of these people are crazy. <laughs> But Jeez, I didn't know. Mostly. I watch yourself around those two. Not a big fan of strangers. And just a little bit, you know, prone to outbursts of violence. What did they do? This is Arkham, bro! Use that sick little imagination of yours. Murder, mayhem, carnage, the usual. Let's see. On the couch, that's St. Louis. Ooh, sh sh his favorite show's on. Never misses it. All right, friendo. Commercial break. Get up! This is much. the remote. One of the orderlies must have taken it. Never fear, though. I'll go ask Leland. She likes me. Does she know? Ooh, I almost forgot. Here. What is this? Why did we just walk through? We got like a that? bad case of the mind knives. I can tell. I can tell. Just, just shove off. All right. No mind knives for me. I already got my shots. That's you sure you got your shots? Cookie crumbles. Cookie. cookie crumbs. That's it. Cookie crumbs. Not the right key for this. Hey, uh, I was wondering about... It's not lunch yet. <sighs> well, actually, and I it's wasn't... It's not time for meds, either. Beat it. Wow. Okay, then. I solved the cookie riddle, not you. Sorry. Sorry. Oh, there's a phone.
Nope. Well, this key doesn't fit. What the hell is it for? Wait, that's the move you're going to make? Is huh? it supposed to be a forge yeah. for stealing the key? Why? Or? Why? No. no reason. No reason. Lewis! Hmm? What? No, that wasn't me. I, I, I'm sane, Lewis. And, and that was... <laughs> Hey there, buddy boy. You missed me? I missed you. No, I However, miss you. the threat remains. The children of Arkham are still out there, and I will not rest until these streets are safe and firmly under my control. And Never anything good on, is there? What's that? Not polite at all. At all. Doctor says that's against the rules. I'm not mind control. It's good. Nope. There's no one there. I'm not really crazy, you know, in case you were wondering. Well, oh, don't worry, of course I'm not crazy either. Yeah, right. You wouldn't be here if you weren't. Then why are you here? If you're not uh, crazy. Sure. Hello. Scarface. Hello? Go away. Arnold. Busy. I swear, if you bother him, I will gut you. Nice trick. Listen, pal. Arnold's had a tough time in here. And he doesn't need bullies like you making his recovery harder. So unless you have something important to say, get lost. The Scarface. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now what? What can you tell me about uh, John Doe? John? What's up with his face, dude? Nothing. I, I don't know anything. John? Ah, I love that guy. Makes me laugh. Want to know something weird? No one remembers the day John came to Arkham. Not even the doctors. They don't have any record of him ever being committed. You'd think a freak with green hair would be pretty goddamn memorable, right? But yeah, right? Yeah. Nothing. Now what? Don't be giving me that attitude. Any idea what this opens? Did John give you that key? Why not is it floating? Wait, not what again? Nothing. Just go away. I'm busy here. You heard him. Beat it. Oh, this guy. <laughs> Batman really did a number on this guy. Just let him be. So I guess we can talk to him. Sorry, I can't talk right now. I gotta keep my eye on this guy. Yeah, I can see why you gotta keep an eye on him. Oh. He cheats. Every time. He cheats. Sees what I'm thinking. Mind control. Cheater. I told you. If I could read minds, I certainly wouldn't waste my time on yours. Lovely. Bruce Wayne, you've got quite a reputation around here. Taking your enemies out to stay on top. I like your style, kid. So what's the deal with that? Well, this one 
was a homeless guy trapped in a hopeless life. <laughs> this was a woman who just couldn't stop cheating on her husband. This guy wanted to kill himself, but didn't have the courage. All lost souls that I freed from their earthly woes. Okay, yeah, that's enough. Thanks. What do you want? Guy I walked in here with. What can you tell me about him? John Doe? A lot of folks are scared of him. Yeah? Why is that? Same reason folks are scared of tornadoes. They're chaotic. Unpredictable. Not speaking as a... <clears throat> as a professional. I find his work a bit sloppy. But he's certainly enthusiastic. I'll give him that much. Mmm, enthusiastic, eh? What do you want? Any idea what this opens? How the hell should I know? Get that thing away from me! I don't want any trouble with the orderlies. Okay, okay, chill, chill. Go talk to John then. We talk to everyone else. Your key didn't work. <laughs> of course not. <laughs> That's not how you get out of here. <laughs> you tried it though, didn't you? <laughs> That's hilarious. So it was a prank the whole time. Wow. My enforcement squad has already seen great success. They stopped a massive attack being organized out of a local sky trade depot. Um, yeah, no, that was me. Usually bore me to tears. But this one. This one has become a lot more interesting lately. In my Gotham, no one's above the law, including Bruce Wayne. After his vicious attack on Oswald Cobblepot, I had Mr. Wayne committed to Arkham Asylum, where I hope he'll receive the treatment he so desperately needs. <laughs> Double cross and two faced. I thought you and the mayor were friends. I mean, you were supporting his campaign. I saw all sorts of photos of the two of you together. Harvey was my friend. I can't believe he's the one who put me here. Sounds like you need better friends. Slim pickings yep. around here, though. I've looked. In which Mayor Dent announced the creation of a special enforcement squad under his direct command to combat an imminent threat from the children of Arkham. Rest assured. We will find these terrorists, their stockpile of drugs, and their leader, this Lady Arkham, before they can strike again. Now, this is good television. Mayor on a rampage versus freaky drug terrorist. I'm gonna find your drugs. I'm going to expose your corruption. Oh! This isn't a joke. Their war is going to destroy Gotham. That's what makes it so funny. All those people caught in the middle. Tragically, there's still no sign of Gotham Gazette reporter Vicki Vale after her mysterious disappearance earlier this week. Mm -hmm. Very tricky, Vicky. Tricky, Vicky. I think we both know she's quite the uh, lady, right, Bruce? Wait, Wait, what? You know that Vicky is. Tell me what you know. You want to find Vicky and her drugs, huh? Got your revenge just like you got your revenge on Cobblepot? Publicly and dramatically, something entertaining for these newscasters to talk about. Well, that all depends on you. If your information is good, we'll see. I knew I liked you. I've Did been you watching know? you for a while now, Bruce. And I can tell there's something darker in you. When you attacked Oswald, I could tell you enjoyed it. <laughs> if those cops had dragged you off of him, that Cobblepot punk would be dead. That wasn't me. I was just pumped full of her drugs. 
Those just amplify what you're already feeling, what's already inside. Don't be ashamed. It's in your blood. I see a lot of your father in you. She probably does too. What do you it's know about my father? It's obvious that's why Vicky hates you. Your dad helped bump off her parents. Why would my father have the veils killed? I never said he killed the veils. What? She was born in Arkham. Victoria Arkham. What? Say what? You didn't know that? The Arkhams did not approve of what your dad and his partners were doing. They were gonna blow the whistle on the whole thing, so your dad, well, pop, pop. Her parents murdered, leaving her with an unquenchable thirst for vengeance. Surely you can relate. Maybe. Tragedy can drive people to do some pretty dark stuff. Yeah, I can relate to that. Tragedy can be a powerful motivation. I knew it. I knew it. Very good instincts on this sort of thing. You and Vicky are both dark souls, and now you're heading on a collision course towards each other. That's gonna be fantastic! You see, I know what you really are. Do you? And that's why I really want to tell you where Vicky's moved her drugs, but you're not gonna do anything while you're stuck in here. So, I vote we get you out. How hard can it be? You're Bruce Wayne. The Waynes always get what they want. All it would take is a phone call. Well, sure, but there's no phone. I uh, can... Assume I can take care of that. Bro, what exactly do you know, though? But it's gonna come at a price. When I get out of here, you're gonna owe me a favor. Okay? Just one. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what it is yet. But what's one favor between friends? Sure. One favor, that seems fair. Excellent. We'll have loads of fun. You'll see. All right, tell you what. I'm gonna make a distraction to get the guards away from that gate. The rest is up to you. You make that phone call, and I promise I'll tell you how to find those missing drugs. Hey, Zaz. Hello, Zaz. What the hell do you want? Settle a bit. What happens if you make a tally mark before you kill someone? What are you talking about? Uh-oh. No! No, 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 I don't match him. Oh, God, I don't match! You can fix that right now! This skin feels like it's itching. Burning! Need to... Need to get rid of it! Stop! Someone give me a sedative! Run, Brucey! Run! <laughs> Only one choice. Yo. <laughs> There. Multiple stabbings. One of the orderlies had a finger bitten off. And according to John, it sounds like you were right in the middle of it. I tried to stop it. The, the, the whole thing was the sick game. You would understand if you were there. We're going to look into it further before I feel comfortable making a decision one way or the other. One moment. Dr. Leland, Wayne's being discharged. Superintendent says he's a liability. 
Having him here creates an unsafe environment. His butler's here to collect him. Seems you have a visitor. Alfred. Ah, Bruce. Thank heavens Even you're Even though right. none of that was my fault. Really. You see, everything is in order. He is to be released into my care. What happened with those men in your room? The riot with Zaz? You clearly need help, Bruce. He needs extensive evaluation. Treatment. Dr. Leland, you know it isn't safe for me here. Look at what happened today. That won't be the last time. That may be true, but I would never let that hinder someone from getting the help they need. Oh, so you'd rather let me I'm get killed in here? I'm afraid it's out of your hands now, Doctor. Jeez. You have the paperwork. Let's go, Alfred. Ask the fails. Ask her parents. What's that about? <laughs> Arkham Asylum. Lady Arkham was actually Vicky Vale this entire time. And all the while she was working with Cobblepot to try and bring me down. It's a good thing the family lawyers were able to get you out so quickly. No kidding. Batman's got some work to do. Even during Batman's brief hiatus, Gotham has become that much more dangerous. Really? And the public opinion on Bruce Wayne... Well, it... Certainly hasn't gotten any better. I don't care about public opinion. And neither should you, Al. Uh, I wish I could agree with you. But the more people call out for you to receive justice, the harder your... other job could become. You're probably right. Hello, Harvey. You should have stayed in the asylum where I put you. What do you want, Harvey? The streets of Gotham are a dangerous place for someone like you right now. That threat? Well, you'll figure that out. Eventually. I'll be fine, Harvey. I can handle myself. I don't think you understand the danger you're in. Maybe you haven't heard, but the children of Arkham have gone underground. Obviously plotting some sort of attack, and people are scared. Panicking. I needed to show them that my resolve hasn't weakened. That Gotham is still strong. So I gave them an enemy. You and your family's filthy corruption. The last thing I need is you traipsing around Gotham. Would you listen to yourself? You sound insane. No. I'm just a man who's done letting assholes like you run the world and take whatever they want. Okay, then. Can't let you keep running around scot-free, Bruce. It's the will of the people. You can spare mm, me no. your will of the people crap, Harvey. I know this is personal. You knew I was interested in Selena. What you did was a low blow, Bruce. A real man wouldn't have done that. She doesn't belong to you, Harvey. She can see whoever she wants. Do not lecture me about Selena. <sighs> Bruce? Bruce! We're done talking. D O N E done. Well, what's going on here? It's not him though, it's the drugs talking. <laughs> well, well, well. Bruce Wayne. You really must have done something to piss the mayor off so much, hmm? <laughs> Maybe I'll get a bonus for this. Open the trunk. We're searching the car. If we find anything tying you to the children of Arkham, including drugs, weapons, or any other suspicious materials, you will be taken into custody. I know my goddamn rights, and you better have a warrant to back that up. Don't need one. Mayor Dent gave his enforcers full search and seizure rights. Wow. That's a violation. Come on, what's the damn hold up? Get back to your car. Of course. Should have known. 
Go back to Arkham, you damn maniac! The hell? Careful, or you'll be the next Cobblepot. Showing your face in public like this? What is your problem? Because you are making a big mistake right now. Bruce. Shut up, Alfred! I can handle this! Someone else heard that, right? This psycho just threatened me! Yeah, I filmed the whole thing! They should lock you up! Oh, God, I... Alfred, I'm sorry. I don't... You'll be fine. We just need to get out of this mess. Nowhere to run, dirtbag! Next one won't be a warning shot! All right, now the way I see it, there are two ways we can do this, Bruce Wayne. Either I let these people at you and see how you handle mob justice, or you could make a little donation to me and my boys to help us stay well-funded, hmm? And well-armed? What do you say? They've got us blocked in. I can't back up. This is turning ugly, sir. What would you like to do? Hey, the mayor's gonna hear about this, and it ain't gonna make him happy. Hey, he's the problem, not us! To. Here! It's everything I have, okay? Sure, that'll work. This isn't over. Yeah, sure. Take it up with City Hall. Could run the barricade, but we're not in the Batmobile. <laughs> That'd be kind of dangerous. Find right here out of Arkham. See you when you get back. Got some stuff we need to talk about. Uh oh. What do we need? What do we need to talk about, Selena? What do you mean you're leaving? Bruce, Harvey's clearly lost it. All over the news yelling about how you need to be brought to justice, throwing whoever he wants in jail. Not really interested in seeing what he has planned for me. Uh -oh. I was supposed to be here laying low. Does this look like laying low to you? You don't need to worry about Harvey. I'll protect you from him. Don't write checks you can't cash. But I can cash. Did you get one. it, Bruce? Harvey catching you in my apartment drove him completely around the bend. So you're saying you think his breakdown is our fault? I... Yeah? Don't get me wrong, Bruce. The night was a lot of fun, but... Not worth dying for. I get it. He's dangerous. I, uh... I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. Thank you. I appreciate that. But boy, are those puppy dog eyes breaking my heart right now. <laughs> so where are you gonna go? We got some other business I need to take care of. What other business? <clears throat> Look at yourself, Bruce. You're in no shape to take on Harvey. Or the children of Arkham, for that matter. I will be. Of course. That's my car. See you around. Good luck with... all of this. Good luck, thank you. Now we should be going down to the back cave. I'm fine, okay? I just need to get to the computer. You're exhausted. And the influence of Lady Arkham's drug may still be affecting you. Harvey has turned Gotham into a police state. Oswald has stolen my company, and we need to find Vicky and the children of Arkham before they strike again. I can't just ignore it. You're in no condition to work. I have to try. You absolutely must get some rest. I have to do something. Don't get in my way, Al. I wouldn't dream of stopping you, but let's address the problem at hand first. Bruce, you look... Awful. He's had a very long evening. You're right. You're right. Let's just focus on getting my head clear first. Bring up everything we know about Vicky Vell's drug. I'm on it. 
If we can isolate the presence of the drug, I should be able to synthesize an antidote. Let's start with a DNA scan. Compare it to your DNA on file in the bat computer. I'll make the preparations. I got Gotham feed real quick. Private security. Law and order candidate. Out of work in less than 48 hours. Notorious mental health facility for less than 48 hours after being admitted. My name's release secured by Gotham City Police Department. Wow. Claims credit for drop in COA crime. Children are in crime. Of course, he's claiming the credit when really it's thanks to Batman. He's the one that stopped the train depot thing. Not the mayor. Reporter, maybe. Children are in kidnapping. Huh. The officer linked to Falcon killing returns to the force. Actions, finding evidence she puts drugs in against her will. That's good, good. Cause she's a good cop, so she definitely deserves to be recognized for her integrity and duties. We'll start with Alfred and work our way down. Ruin and I worth it, but somehow offer remains dignified despite all the mud mudslinging. Mayor, money helping get there. Now I have to admit that Gotham City has a monster in the mayor's office. I mean, it's not him though, it's the drugs that he is under the influence of. Terrible things Oswald is doing at Wayne Enterprises right now. Corrupt. Corrupted into something horrific. Oh, goodness. Well, we gotta deal with him soon. Jeff Gordon was in Arkansas all along, and Oregon City is worse than I left it. Always control the city hall and so called enforcement squad means for Gordon's ability to do his job effectively. Darn. Vicky Vale. I thought I knew where she's gone. Cease to exist, really named Victoria Arkham. Right there in front of me this whole time, and somehow I failed to see it how. Like me, tried to ruin me and came close to succeeding. Tried down the supply of mind altering drug and destroy it. <laughs> Lady Arkham. Uh, known as Lady Arkham among her followers, but I know her real name. 
keep up persona seems to be seems to be gone forever. I can't believe I let her into my home. I can't believe I never figured out who she was or what she was doing. But now that I know there is nothing that will stop me from taking her and her followers down. <laughs> children of Arkham. Ever since I stopped their plot to spray the citizens of Gotham with their drug, the children of Arkham went quiet. If I hadn't been in Arkham I would have immediately tracked them all down. But it seems Mayor Dent has taken up the fight in my absence. He'll crush them and anyone who tries to stand up to his author authoritarian tactics. John Doe. That was kind of short. One particular patient had a big impression on me. Didn't catch his name, but I won't ever forget his face or his laugh. He's some kind of creepy circus clown. However, I, he did provide invaluable help in tracking down Vicky and her missing drug stash. For that, I agreed to grant him a favor. What's one favor to a man who'll never see the outside of Arkham Asylum? Fair point, Brucey, but careful that might not, that doesn't come back to fight and bite us in the butt booty. Mayor Dan's warm goes to children of Arkham. Children of Arkham has turned Gotham into a more dangerous place than before. Enforcement squads are, aren't going to make Gotham safe. They're going to turn it into a police state. Next. Wingman at Arkham Asylum. I knew when I wrote the check for a new hospital that Gotham needed a better mental health care facility. But it wasn't until I became a patient at Arkham that I first saw, that I saw firsthand just how dire the situation is. The guy named a guy with a homicidal sock puppet and a man named Zaz was covered with a tally mark scars of his victims. Then there's John Doe. I don't know who they are or what they did to get there, but we have to make sure they never ever walk free. Wow. I am lastly Wayne Enterprise. I used to walk through the front doors of the Wayne Enterprises Tower with pride. I can't do that any longer, not since I was outed from the, the, the CEO seat and replaced by Oswald Colopot, who seems to be transforming my family business into something unrecognizable, even as I write this. What's his end goal? I don't know. But I have to put a stop to it before everything my parents worked for. The good things they worked for are damaged beyond repair. Alright. Oh, well, let's... Look at my DNA sample. Here's my DNA before the incident. And now let's look at the drug molecule. This is the refined sample of the drug taken from Officer Montoya after she killed Falcone. It seems that the drug attaches itself to specific proteins in the genome structure. If we can modify the drug's molecular structure, we should be able to create a counteragent. Once you've figured this out, we'll have a working antidote. We can cure others affected by the drug. No. I wish that were possible. It's based on the individual's DNA. We'd have to sample and decode the genome structure for each and every person to make them a cure. We don't have the time or resources for that. That's why we were lucky to have mine on file already. Got it. That should do it. Alright, we're gonna take the antidote. I hope y'all don't mind needles. This needs to be injected directly into the vein to work. I don't imagine it'll be much fun. Hopefully that does the trick. It'll work. Feel better already. So, what are we going to do now? First things first, I need to know what Vicky, Lady Arkham, has been up to while I've been away. Search for all children of Arkham recent activity. <laughs> the press is reporting that Vicky Vale is missing. Yo, yes. fatty stuff. And obviously the police have yet to find a body. <sighs> that woman! Trying to get the scoop on you, pretending to care. You're she no betrayed Batman. you. I wish things. I wish different. things had been different. 
Of course, my brother. Maybe I could have gotten through to her. You always try your best, Bruce. She had her own agenda from the start. She was playing me the entire time, breaking me down. I've been all right. How you been? She wanted me in Arkham. She wanted me to feel what my father had done to all those people. Bruce. There were bigger plans than me, Alfred. Batman stopped her at the Skyrail station, and I can't believe that she isn't finding another way to use the drugs. Well, if that's true, she may be more dangerous than ever. I know, I know. I, uh, met someone in Arkham who gave me a tip on how to find her. A tip? Do you really think you can trust someone in Arkham Asylum? Nope. Offense intended toward your recent time there, of course. How are you doing? Uh, lurk. Okay. Thanks for the lurk. He knew that Vicky Vale was Lady Arkham. No one else has that information. I suppose that's not something we can ignore, trustworthy or not. He told me that if I want to know what she's planning, then I should visit her parents' house. Couldn't be too tough to locate them. Got it. Bruce, before you head out, I've got something for you. I call it a strobe grenade. Throw it at any surface and the ensuing light show will make you almost impossible to track. Perfect. Thank you, Lucius. Thank you. Least I can do after you invited me to come work in the Batcave with you. Bruce! Yeah? If you do find Miss Vale, please, be careful. <laughs> Breaking into the Vale's house. I'm inside the Vale house. Move deeper into the house to get a better look. Oh my god. That's crazy. Alfred, the veils are dead. One body confirmed, but there is a lot of blood. Alert Gordon. Will do. I don't know how this is connected to the drugs yet. Whatever they knew about it, Vicky made sure they kept quiet. Syringe. Seems she hasn't given up her old tricks. Nope. Is this the same drug? Yes. But this is several times stronger than the dosage I received. Maybe she's escalating. This seems personal. Quite. Quite personal indeed. Okay, can we? Thank you. Her eyes are gone. Stabbed out. That's disturbing. Yeah, very disturbing. There's an injection wound on her neck. Same kind Montoya and I both received, but this one's much worse. Same device, same drug. Uh oh. This confirms that Lady Arkham is the murderer. Tech starting to malfunction a little bit. Do you notice that? Family photo. Recent family photo. Vicky's not in it. It shows the veils with another child in front of an industrial office. There's a logo on the building. Large amounts of blood spatter across the walls. It's not steady like arterial spray. Someone was swinging wildly. Wait. There's a slight indentation where something bloody struck the wall with force. Something thrown. Nothing I can see. Hey, 
hair? I found a lock of hair. Anything unique about it? It was cut at a downward angle, probably with some force based on how clean the slice is. A knife? It's clean. This wasn't used as a murder weapon. Then why was it lying on the floor? That's a clue. It appears Mrs. Vale attempted to fight back with this knife, but only managed to slice through the attacker's hair. Mm-hmm. I guess just check this closet. Oh Alfred my god. Found Mr. Vale. Alive? No. Dead. Very He's much gone. dead. Ten hours at least, judging by the state of his soft tissues. Looks like a company logo. The belt buckle is covered in blood. Before he was hung with the belt, Mr. Vale was beaten with it. The belt buckle matches with the dents on the wall. The indentation matches the shape of the belt buckle. It must have impacted with the wall during the attack. Jeez, beat the snot out of them. Logo with the logo in the photo. The logos match. Mr. Vale owned an oil and heating company. Looking it up now. Yes, he's got a sizable warehouse in the industrial district and a fleet of delivery trucks. And now Vicky's got it. Mm -hmm. What exactly happened in that house? She's I gonna think use I that know. stuff. After we stopped her at the rail station, Vicky needed a place to hide her supply of drugs. Her father's trucks and warehouse offered the perfect cover. To do that, she needed them out of the way. With Vicky Vale fully assuming her new identity of Lady Arkham, seems like she didn't need the veils around to support her old one. Vicky nope. showed up to attack her adopted parents, but only the mother was there at first. Miss Vale fought back and was able to slice off part of Vicky's hair. Vicky then subdued her with the same drug she used on me, but a much, much larger dose. Nearly lethal. She then removed the mother's eyes, indicating a deeply personal motivation. This was obviously some sort of vendetta. Sometime during this, Mr. Vale entered. Vicky attacked him with his own belt, striking with the buckle until he was unconscious and bleeding out. Finally, she dragged him to the closet and hung him with the belt. The blood loss got him way before the hanging did. Well, that's horrific. She never acted out in such a violent way before. Why would she... Alfred, I think someone's still in the house. Going to look for a heat signature. If anyone else is here, I'll find them. Scan for heat signature? Clear. No one Nothing here. here. Let's go back out to the living room. Anything? Nothing here. No. And let's check the stairs. There's there someone here, under the stairs, alive. It's the boy. It's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. Sir, is everything all right? It's a kid, Alfred. The boy from the photo. Is he all right? Aside from the shock and a few bruises, he seems okay. He might be able to tell me more about what happened. Uh, possibly. But if that's the road you go down, please do it with caution. Will do. He 
it's going to be okay. You're going to be all right. Something bad happened out here. I know it might be scary, but I need your help. Can you do that? Okay. I need you to tell me if you saw or heard anything. This is important. I... I heard someone say something. Something about drugs, fighting the police. I don't know who. I don't know who because I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything because I hid in here. Please don't send me to punishment. Calm down. See, that does help me. Thank you. Yeah, he's he's traumatized. We gotta be nice to him. Push him too hard, and he'll just concede like a turtle. Get down. <gasps> My drones. Are you safe? Were you wounded? I'm okay. <gasps> oh no. They're dead. Yes, they are. But you are not. You are still alive. And those emotions you're feeling... Someday you'll learn how to use them. To channel them. You might not understand now, but someday it will make you stronger. I promise, I won't stop until I catch the person that did this. You're the kid who saved Batman, and no matter what happens, no matter where you go, that will always be true, and I will always owe you one. There you go. Batman. Ladies and gentlemen, Robin. No, I'm kidding. Oh my Probably God. not. He was the only survivor. You never know, though. Come on. Let's get you out of here. He saved me. Oh, Jesus. Was this the children of Arkham? Again? Why would they attack a family like the Vales? Because their daughter, Vicky, is Lady Arkham. She killed her own parents so she could use their company warehouse to stockpile the rest of her drugs. Vicky? Vicky Vale, the reporter? Yeah. And so, who was the boy then? He was hiding in a closet when the attack started. He may know more than he realizes. He says he heard something about drugs and attacking the police. Can't confirm anything. But it sounds like the children of Arkham might be plotting something with those drugs against your people. Thanks for the heads up. The warehouse is Vale Oil and Heating. You should secure it as soon as possible. I'll get on it right away. What about you? I've got something I need to look into. Lieutenant! What's going on here? Securing the crime scene, Commissioner. Not any more, you're not. I'm taking over this investigation. I can't risk you allowing Batman to contaminate our crime scene again. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm the one contaminating your crime scene. Uh-huh. Home sweet home. Yeah. Uh, it should 
And so your bat stunner just didn't work? That's right. I have a bad feeling it was no accident. If not for Lucius's strobe grenade, I'm not sure what I would have done. Lucius, meet me at the back computer. There's something I want to talk to you about. Be right there. Let's get a closer look at you. Remove the exterior casing. No damage on the microfiber. Adhesion regulation reads normal. Rotate. Remove the back. Electricity panel. conductor. Everything looks functional. It should have worked. Remove the side panel. EMP functionality is all in the green. This doesn't make any sense. This is strange. There we go. This microchip is emitting a low bandwidth receiving signal, but it shouldn't be. Like the ones you shut down in the GCPD. Something like that. But Lucius had his eyes on the Wayne tech that the children of Arkham breached. This is something different. I'm here, what's up? Take a look at this. God, someone's found a way to get past my security upgrades. Not just someone. Oswald Cobblepot. I am so sorry, Bruce. If only I'd been at Wayne Enterprises. Maybe there was something I could have done. Unlikely. Oh, what a mess. That sleaze cobble pot at the heart of it all. Cut yourself some slack, Lucius. There's no way you could have known. I certainly don't blame you for it. Well, I still feel a little guilty. Looks to me like he's introduced some sort of bug into your network. That's how he's making my equipment malfunction? For now, but if he keeps it up, he could completely take control of your tech. Jeez. My lord, that would be catastrophic. Is there anything you can do? I can try to work on your firewalls, ah, but if I do anything too drastic, he'll know we're on to it. Let's try this I'm tired of being on the defensive. Why don't we attack him instead? I'm not sure. But I can certainly see what I can do. Thanks, Lucius. Uh, uh Bruce, Lucius, you're going to want to see this. What wow. is it? Reports of Children of Arkham activity are down. But these efforts do not come cheap. That's why I am formally seizing the Wayne Estate. So the corrupt wealth of Gotham's elite and go to the better purpose of protecting Gotham's common man. Wow. Mr. Wayne has 24 hours to evacuate his property and turn it over to the city, or he will be removed. You can't let that egomaniac throw us out on the street. I have to talk to him. After what happened at the debate, Harvey probably isn't the biggest fan of Batman. On the other hand, perhaps Bruce Wayne can appeal to him on a more personal level. I'll try. Harvey's behavior is unpredictable. Random. Who knows how he will react by the way? Yeah, it makes no sense to go as Batman, honestly. This is Bruce's problem, not Batman's. I'll take care of it. I believe in you, Bruce. I know you can get through to him. Back to business. your time my mind is made up is it I have always supported you you were my friend tell me Bruce were you thinking about our friendship when you were screwing Selena mm. Look, I know you're still pissed off at me about sleeping with Selena I get it but this has to stop now Gotham deserves a mayor that can focus on cleaning up this city that's why I'm taking your money, your home, everything. It's time that you started paying your debt to Gotham. The value of your estate. 
could be used to do a lot of good. I'll pay this city back on my terms, not yours. Nah, I think I like my terms better. I don't care what you the like. The deal is done. A strong leader doesn't back down. When they see an enemy, they crush them without hesitation. I made a promise to the city that I would make it better. I'm not the enemy. The children of Arkham are. Oh, don't you worry. I'm taking care of them tonight, too. What do you mean? Ready to go. What are you doing? Do it. What are you doing, Harvey? What the hell did you do? Our Lady Arkham's drugs destroyed. That blast was way bigger than you said! We must have taken out a whole city block with it! Hey, man, we lost a bunch of our own guys! The apartment next door! Jesus Christ! We stopped the children of Arkham. That's all that matters. That's what a leader does. Does a leader kill innocent people? You're a murderer now. Their deaths are unfortunate. But think about everyone the children of Arkham could have hurt with those drugs. That feels like an acceptable price to pay. Oh my gosh. I couldn't just destroy the drugs. I had to make a statement. I needed the children of Arkham and any other potential enemies waiting in the shadows to know what I'm capable of. That I'll do anything to protect my city. After what you've done tonight, everyone in Gotham is going to see who they really elected mayor. And when that happens, they will turn against you. On the contrary, Bruce, this is what Gotham wanted. No, it's not. Not oh, to be blown I can up. See tomorrow's headlines already. Hero Mayor saves citizens from Children of Arkham terror plot. Meanwhile, somewhere in the back, they'll stick the article about Bruce Wayne's tragic suicide. Wow. What the hell are you talking about? All the shame you've suffered was just too much for you to bear. Your family's history, getting forced out of your company, losing all your money. No one will question finding you dead in Crime Alley so soon after you got out of Arkham. Tragic, but unsurprising. Maybe even dear old Alfred will shed a tear. If you kill me... You better make sure I'm dead, because if not, what I did to Cobblepot will look like child's play. <laughs> Good to know. Mm. Oh my god, Green Angel with the raid, oh. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that. How was your stream? I hope it went well. Come on, keep walking. Wait. Shut up! Just wait. Just keep moving. I'm currently doing my old mods as well. Look at what you're doing. This is wrong, and you know hey, it. Hey, he said, shut up. Hey, how are you? Anyway, you cut I hope this, your stream was murder. great. Is that what you want? This city is at war. Sometimes casualties are the cost of winning the war. The children of Arkham are trying to tear the city apart. We're saving it. Yeah, we finally got a leader who wants results. Listen to yourself. You sound brainwashed. No. Oh my. You brainwashed us? Did you Helping. die or did you even right die thing. in that game? Mayor's I don't even know. The only one brave enough to take real action against our enemies. Your mayor. Just blew up a city block. I'll Sometimes definitely to watch help the greater good. There's a price to pay. People died. Your fellow officers died. I. I. I if you think that's where he's gonna stop, you're just as crazy as he is. I. Uh, um, maybe. Uh, maybe he has a point. Shut up! You just don't get it. You don't understand. Did your character die though? Like, it, does that happen? You, you die and then you respawn, or maybe, how does that work? Maybe what? Uh. Nothing. Just think for yourselves. You're not Harvey's puppets. You are more than This that. isn't about the mayor. This is about protecting the city. And that's why we're not afraid to do what it takes. 
Officer, drop your weapon. Just let him shoot him. There you go. You okay? Yeah. You really showed up in the nick of time. Can't be Don't revealing you ourselves as me? Batman. Then Princess. just blew up a whole city block. I know, Let's I know. go. The reports I'm hearing are just awful. that has gone way, way too far. He's supposedly trying to stop the children of Arkham, but now he's become a goddamn terrorist himself. A terrorist oh, okay. with half the city's okay. support behind him. Don't die when you have the a blood on his hands. He and Lady Arkham might be neck and neck on body count by this point. Dent needs to be stopped, Jim. Now. Or that block won't be the last thing that gets destroyed. Uh, we'll stop it. But it ain't gonna be easy. It's a mess out there. I can't help but feel guilty. Batman gave me the information on where to find Lady Arkham's drug stockpile. I hand it into my superiors and... God, this happens. This game is a little bit glitchy, I'm trying I noticed. to figure out what I can do to help. But I feel like my hands are tied every direction I turn. Grogan's out for Batman's head, as soon as he can figure out a way to do it. <sighs> I've never felt this frustrated with a system in my entire career. Sounds to me like you're already on the right path. Weeding the bad seeds out of the department. Cutting down the enforcers. Yeah, I just hope it'll be enough. Everything is such a goddamn mess. Do you need a ride? Thanks, but I've got it taken care of. Lucius, what's the situation? I, I figured out how he's causing Time the feedback for a fight. loop. He's somehow connected a, a black box computer to your encrypted network. God, it's like a digital battering ram. If he keeps this up, he could smash through the Batcave firewalls at any minute. He'd have access to the Bat computer. That's not the worst of it, I'm afraid. Alfred? Mr. Dent is pulling up to the manor as we speak, and he's not alone. Already? Dent taking control of the car. Are you all right? Penguin's hacking assaults are getting worse. At this rate, he'll have my tech compromised by the end of the night. Only place he could be hacking me from is Wayne Enterprises. Well, I don't envy your position. Even Batman can't be in two places at once. We gotta go to Wayne. I need to stop Penguin. You go to the Batcave and make sure Harvey doesn't find it. I understand. Time to go to work. Similar thing happened in uh, Batman Begins. They burned on the house, but it, it's okay. Other night at the office. But yeah, burned down the house in Dark in the Batman Begins. Just rebuilt it. That's what that's what's gonna happen here. Just rebuild the house. Alfred will be safe in the Batcave. Here we can't risk uh, getting our identity compromised. So. Get over here. signal coming through, Lucius. Looks like it. I'll give you what support I can. But from here in the Batcave, I can only see what you can. So long as you can confirm Penguin's black box when we're in the lab. I can definitely do that. Just be careful, Bruce. No telling what kind of security he's had installed. 10-4, Lucius. Gotcha. Time to fire the new CEO. Ha! <laughs> He's gonna get fired. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Does anyone have him? 
Useless, you, you're all bloody useless. Jesus, bro, chill, chill, chill. Hey, it's the bad. You're a dead man. Well, if it ain't the biggest bleeding pleasure to see your sour mug again. Glow while you can, Cobblepot. I'm taking you down. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. In fact, I think it's you who's gonna get beat by me. No. I'm pretty good in a fight, you know. Been in a few scuffles here and there. You seem pretty confident about that. Yeah, well I am. You know, I like your style, Batman. I really do. But you're really starting to be a pain in the ass. A pain in the ass. The children of Arkham are going to walk all over this city, and there isn't anyone who can stop us. Not even you! But this company, under my expert stewardship, with the technology being developed, we could control nations. What are you and Lady Arkham planning? Oh, I'm glad you asked. You know, Wayne was thinking too small. He was only tinkering around. If I take him. So focused on consumer technology. I have leverage. Lady Arkham, she has vision. That's why she made sure I was put in charge of the company. What? I can't do it. <sighs> oh, I see. It helps you plan things out ahead of time. Neat trick, though. Pretty flashy for someone who only wears black. How? Oh. Not just for fashion. The it's monocle. very functional. Face it, Batman. You're outmatched. Without your tech, you're just a man in a pointy ear costume. You can't stop us. Watch me. I don't need to play anything. I can improvise. Gotcha. Come on, Batman! Show me what you got. Oh, I'll show you what I got, fool. My turn. You gotta use the toys to do your fighting for you? Wuss. You're pathetic! Yeah, that's why I'm punching in the face. How am I liking this game? I like it. I like it except for the, some minor glitches. <laughs> oh, my God. Have you played it before? Oh. Uh. Yeah, that little butte is almost done hacking your precious network. That's the device. A few more minutes. All your secrets are mine. I will stop you before that happens. Oh shit, he got some gloves. Not this one. How it feels when you put on that suit. Which one have you played? I like it. Ow. you learned yet I've shut you down which one have you played I'm Angel? the one with the toys now bad <laughs> oh, bitch. oh damn that had to hurt this is the start of a new legacy and I'm afraid you don't have any place in it <laughs> Get smacked. Yeah, no more gloves for you. Excuse me, sir. That's right. No more gloves. Arkham VR and Arkham Knight. Oh, okay. I played. I played all the Arkham games except for Arkham VR. Oh, 
you psycho! Uh, this isn't the end, Batman! You can't stop us! It's done, Cobblepot. Your revolution is over. It I also started like the with voice. you, and it ends. <laughs> yeah, bro. Oh, oh, good I like the voice modulator You'll thing never he's got. Find her in time. Where is she? What is she planning? The message is the same as it's ever been. Same, like I. open I, your eyes. I've been watching the Hitman VR on YouTube. That's Tell me crazy. Where to find her. Piss off! Ugh, I'm not telling you anything. You're nothing but a pawn to her, and you're a fool if you think otherwise. You don't get it, do you? I'm not a pawn. I'm a soldier. I die before I sell out the cause. Get stomped on like a bug, fool. That's what you get for stealing my company. And no more hacker box. No more hack in a box. Oh, God damn it. What the? Just cut me down, mate. Necessary? I mean, what will people say? <laughs> Just tell them Wayne put up a fight. <laughs> the good, the bad, and the ugly. Ladies and gentlemen, that was episode four. Let's review our choices. Did we promise a favor to Joker? We did, but we're in the, in the minority there, it seemed. But I just figured, you know, he's a guy that's not coming out of the asylum anytime soon, so. It's Kata. Welcome in. Welcome. Get you a shout out there, my friend. So, anyways, yes. Uh, we've promised him a favor. Uh, did we go along with Joker's plan? No, we went ahead and stopped the fight, which is what I felt that Bruce Wayne would have done in that situation. Um, because if we hadn't stopped the fight, we would have gotten an innocent man killed. I don't think that's Bruce Wayne or Batman's style at all. Did you get past the, the Enforcer Barricade? Or how did you get past the Enforcer Barricade? We gave them we gave him the bribe because we're just in a regular car, not the Batmobile. So I felt like running, going through the barricade like that would have been suicide. So we just went ahead and bribed him to get through the barricade. How did you do with uh, Harvey? Uh, so we dealt with him as Bruce because deal, dealing with him as Batman made no sense. Why would Batman... Uh, handle some guy losing his house like that's just it's such a minuscule thing plus it's it's literally Bruce Wayne's problem not Batman's as Bruce Wayne said in that when we made the decision did you stop Harvey or Oswald we went and stopped Harvey I mean Oswald sorry we went and stopped Oswald because I felt that if um, if Oswald would have kept going further with that hack, eventually he would have uncovered our, our identity and it would have caused some major damage with our Batman tech and we just couldn't have that. He'd be using all of our drones and everything else to just wreak havoc in the city. We just couldn't have that. As far as Harvey, he's just going after after Wayne Manor. If you whatever he does to Wayne Manor, it can be it can be rebuilt, it can be taken back, you know, that Wayne Manor is not necessarily a priority. Alfred can hide in the Batcave and be totally safe whatever happens to Wayne Manor. Yep, there's the summary. And let's see, do we get do we get her next time? Doesn't look like we get her next time. Not now. I have the season pass. What you mean? Anyways y'all, thank you thank you so much for being here. I'm going to go ahead and raid Mr. 
Damasukdamusaki. So be sure to show him some love. Thanks for the SO. Yeah, of course, of course. We're all about supporting each other here. But yes, anyways, thank you all for watching. If you, if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please give the video a like and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Any type of feedback is welcome at all. Damusaki, there he is. YouTube Green, thank you so much. Thank you so much for the raid again. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you for those emos, fatty stuff. And thank you for stopping in. It's Kata. You're greatly appreciated. All of you are greatly appreciated and loved. Make sure you guys follow each other and uh, connect with each other. Help each other grow. All right? Good night.